Hey everyone, my name is Sam, and these are my kitchen and mattress platform camp drawers. Now for any kitchen, we start with the stove. Because man make fire, but propane is a little easier. We've got a Camp Chef Everest stove that fits perfectly in this drawer here uh, that free floats. It's uh, just floating in here. It's secured by these blocks during transport, but for ease of removal, if you need to take it out and do anything with it, you can, you can pull it off right there. Propane, elbow, this comes in here, and your bottle just hangs out the side. In about one minute, when you pull this thing out, you're about ready to cook, you're boiling water. So we got, this is what I call my silver drawer. I got the dividers all put away here. You get ample storage space for like every single tool you need. Nice to put away, easy to get to, easy to organize. Pull out bamboo cutting board here is like massive. Extra extra prep space and that slides in. Nice and easy there. We've got a lift top coffee table hinges here. Uh, it's really solid, sturdy gas strut operated comes out nice and easy and you can access all the organization all the all your pots and pans and still use the countertop as countertop space this is four and a half feet of counter space flat countertop space is always at a premium so i you can i this is all the prep prep space you need and the little little pantry is what i use in the back there one little trick that I have, a little hidden, little hidden gem here. In the lid, under the countertop, we got our breakfast crew. Make breakfast for the whole crew. So that part of the house is the kitchen. Let's make our way up to the garage. here is basically your junk. You got your recovery supplies here. I got toe straps, chains, battery charger, got some traction mats for the rare circumstance that I get stuck. That was a joke. Air compressor and basically basically everything you need. Tarp for a uh, camping adventure. So that's the, that's the kitchen, that's the storage. Now to the mattress platform. This is 42 inches exactly in between the wheel wells of the standard Tacoma. And this here is a three inch thick mattress, not memory foam because memory foam freezes and I camp here in the winter. A full size mattress and chopped down just slightly to fit the bed, the bed to fit the bed. The box free floats and is held in by four turnbuckles with the shelf here to extend over the side. And we come towards the front. We also have a secret storage compartment. This is my bedroom. And when I'm ready to get up in the morning, Come over to my mudroom on this side. Reason why this is the reason why I didn't do a full width, full width on the platform is for a nice spot in here to hang up my jackets so they can drip and put my boots in here. I like to call that my my mudroom. Coming up forward over here. Got more space to put dirty things. It's 
so yeah, that's about it uh, for features. The construction, I'll go into construction right now. Uh, I built this primarily with half inch birch plywood and painted coated everything in duplicolor truck bed liner, a little extra durability. Didn't want, didn't want to have carpet up here because uh, I do still want to use it as a truck bed um, eventually. This top is the only part that is three quarter birch plywood for, it's stout, it's super, super sturdy. The whole, the whole thing rides on three quarter inch square tubing. That's 120 wall, which is overkill for this. Aluminum to clean it up a little bit, of course. Latches are from uh, standard truck box latches. Get these super cheap, they're like $8. And everything rides on skateboard bearings. There's 50 bearings in total, M8 bolts and uh, T-nuts there. That's about it. Uh, the whole system weighs about 200 pounds. Uh, again, I, I tried to do a little bit of weight reduction uh, with the bottom. I gusseted out the bottom plate and to save a few pounds. Generally, I built it pretty stout. So this is ready for off-roading, for overlanding. That's the idea. This is a truck. Now I've got a lot of comments about how the drawer needs a leg, some sort of extra support because it's going to be too weak. That's not a leg. That's an extra piece of wood that I had that I'm shoving in between the tailgate and the drawer. And as far as strength is concerned, it doesn't need a leg. So I built this for myself, my weekender rig, it's my home away from home. Uh, but I, I do think it's pretty cool. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, would you want something like this? I don't think there's anything else on the market that's quite like this. We got the deck drawers, got the goose gear drawers. Don't really have a kitchen in them though. And of course there's a lot of different things for overlanding, but I'd like to, I'd like the opportunity to refine my process here and make it, make it better. And uh, this will be a prototype. I'd like to go build some of these for you guys. Tell me what you think. Are you interested? Let me know in the comments below. So that's the kitchen and mattress platform. These are my camp drawers. Thanks for watching. Comment if you want a set of these. Let me know what you guys think. All right, camera guy, take me away. Will do.